Y'all, I do not know what is happening at Lane Bryant, but they literally just dropped some of the cutest fall pieces I have seen in plus size. Yes, this plus size try on haul is gonna be Lane Bryant, and we don't call it Lane Bryant anymore because they have upped and changed the game on us. Let's get into it. So we are starting with the dress that scares me. Do you know why it scares me? Because it's satin. And if you know anything about satin, satin will betray you. It will tell everyone that you're a messy eater. It will tell everyone that you put lotion on and touched your dress. But I just liked it so much I had to get it anyway. And this is why fashion is the devil because we end up buying things that we know will be no good for us, but they're pretty. <laughs> so I got this brown dress. I hope it looks fantastic. I hope I look like a tall, delicious glass of hot chocolate with some, I guess, marshmallow on top because I'm pale as hell. But whatever the case, I hope it's, I hope it's as fierce as I dream in my mind. I think it will be. I never thought I would ever, ever, ever say this, but I think chocolate brown might be my color, which is weird because I'm not a brown fan. I'm not even a chocolate fan, which I know shock. Uh, I know some of you are now disappointed in me. I'm more of like a fruity gummy person versus like a chocolate person. So this, this is throwing me for a loop, but I think I need to investigate this color further because honestly, in this dress, I look classy AF and I also look hot. Like the color just works with my skin tone and makes me feel a little like femme fatale-ish. Like I looked in the mirror and I kind of was like, I'd do me, I'd go for it. And I'm not even into women. <laughs> I'm just into myself. <laughs> you know what? Everybody should love themselves does not need a pair of black jeans. I need several because that's who I am. Look at these. Mm, mm. She's a little rebellious. She's a little dangerous. She is stonewashed. I think that's what you call it when it's washed this way. And I paired it with a perfect little pumpkin spice sweater. And not only is it striped to spicy perfection, it's got these little ruffles. I love a good ruffle. I just want anything that looks slightly like toddler clothing. And this this is toddler vibes all day, every day. You know what this is? This is me dancing because I like it so much. Also, it's kind of weird, but I'm still going to do it because this is my channel. I can do what I want. And uh, that's what I want to do today. <laughs> can we talk about the fit of these jeans? I mean, I love them. I usually never have like room in my thigh. And I love that these have a little bit more room. So if you are like a thunder thigh girly like me, these jeans are like phenomenal. I'm definitely keeping them because I just, I really struggle to find jeans that work with my like hip and thigh to waist ratio. And I don't have a ton of gapping. I have a little bit. I'm gonna have that in every pair of jeans I've ever worn. But like, I'm not going to fear like a butt explosion. <laughs> Wait, that sounded like poop. I'm talking about when your butt like comes out of the back of your jeans. Cause <sighs> you know what I'm saying? If, if, when it gapes too much, people could just see down there. And I don't, I feel like that wouldn't happen. No, it would not happen. It would not happen, confirmed. Gosh, the butt explosion, Ugh, Anna. Okay, I saw this floral on the website and my immediate reaction was Bleh. But then I got it and I was like, why do I suddenly love this now? Why did my preferences change so much? And I think it's because this floral does not capture well online. No, online it looks like hot garbage. And in real life, it looks like hot something that's not garbage. <laughs> My brain's not working. I just love it. I love it so much. And I didn't expect to. Also, cute little buttons on the boobalas. Big fan. Big fan of a button boobala. A button boobala. Where do I come up with this stuff? Seriously. Why do they let me have a camera on me? They say weird stuff. <laughs> that's probably why, actually. That's probably why. This dress makes me want to, like, craft or, like, redo my kitchen. It's very much giving me like DIY girly vibes. I have tried to be that girl. Um, I don't have the patience to be that girl or the free time or really the skill. Um, usually I, I get something that looks pretty, but I also destroy something else. So it's like, yay, I have this DIY thing, but also my whole house is now destroyed. So we just, we just, choose our crafts carefully and try to make them not involving expensive things we can't easily 
replace. <laughs> like, you screw up a t-shirt, no big deal. You screw up, like, a thousand dollar coffee table, well, <laughs> you just don't have a coffee table anymore, and you're probably not gonna have one for a while. Not that I speak from experience. I speak from experience. It's another chocolate dress. I love chocolate brown. I love that it's in style this season. It was out for a little bit, but she's back, baby. She is back. And this one has dots of pink and like a radiant blue. And also, let's just talk about this. A bold ass blue and a chocolate brown is such a magically delicious color combo. I wish I saw it more. In fact, I would love for this blue to be even bolder and even more like in your face. That said, this is a cute ass floral and I love the way this like ties in the neck and again accentuates the bubulas, which we love when we don't have a grandiose chest when we've got, I mean, I got a snack plate. Most plus size girls have a dinner plate, but that's okay. We work with what we've got. Now, we got some nice flutter sleeves. It's a jersey. Does it have a tie at the waist? Oh, it does. It's no. Okay. This is a little weird. There is an elastic here. I just feel like it should have a belt. But maybe I won't feel that way when I put it on. But right now, I'm like, hmm, she needs a little belt. So we'll decide during try-on. If I feel that, yes, indeed, this dress is underserved and does need a belt, I will belt it with the belt I have, and I will link a similar. But I thought it came with one, and it, in five fact, does not. So the first thing that came to my mind when I put this dress on is that I do not have shoes to match this. I mean, I did my best, but they're not right. And the second thing that came to my mind is that I need to find shoes that match this because this dress is a stunner. I mean, she is snatched. She is giving body, addy, addy. I mean, who wouldn't want a slice of this? And also, I have sleeves that are like wings. So you piss me off, you disappoint me, you don't leave a good enough tip. I can just fly away from our date. I can just fly away with my magical sleeves or more likely with an Uber, you know. So I can just... GTFO. Also, there is nothing wrong with leaving a loser dude on a date. You don't owe them your time. And that is your daily advice. Thanks. I know that a lot of you are looking for workwear attire, so I found a little workwear outfit that I thought was super cute that I needed to show you. Okay, so these pants have a little stretch to them. They're in like a business wear print. When I, when I say plaid, I either think Christmas or work. These read work. There are some that read Christmas. <laughs> Not these. And look at this sweater, guys. It looks comfy, it looks cozy, it looks a little oversized, which is very in right now. And this, these can be mixed and matched like a billion different ways. And they're just a versatile piece with a little sass, which is what we all want in our work wardrobe. Um, I'm a creator, so I can pretty much wear anything to work, but I still would wear something like this to a meeting, because you know what? It's chic, baby. It says, pay attention to me, listen to what I have to say, I'm important but it's also like adult pajamas, which if you watch this channel is my personal aesthetic. I gotta say two things about these pants. First, they got something very, very right, which is these pants are not cropped. Thank you for the love of all whoever designed these for finally giving us a pair of work pants that are not cropped this season. It's like literally the first pair I've tried on that's not cropped, but sadly, there is another point that needs to be made, which is these luxurious pants that look so good on me and are not cropped also do not have pockets. Why can't we just get both? Why is it every cropped pants has pockets and every normal length pants, we just take the pockets out? Because screw you women, we don't want you to have what you want, which is just a normal length pants and some freaking pockets. And I don't think it's too much to ask for. Honestly, if someone wanted to have a million dollar business, they could just make business pants with pockets that are the right length or whoa big idea variety of lengths let everybody get the right length maybe maybe i'm thinking too much here but for real guys in the plus size community we usually get one or the other and i'm mad about it take a look at this dress this dress looks expensive it looks rich i think it's because of the print but it's a trick right because we aren't millionaires right we're thousandaires we got maybe a thousand in the bank. We aren't ballin', we aren't on Real Housewives, but we can look like we are. Gosh, this is beautiful. It looks like one of those fancy rugs that you buy in, in like when you're abroad and then get shipped back. <laughs> I say that like I've done that. I've just seen other people do that and I go, 
that's a rich people thing when you can like buy a rug and then pay to ship it back because you know that's expensive. I once knew somebody who bought a giant Buddha statue in India and got it shipped back. And all I could think about is how expensive the shipping was the entire time. Like how can you just like wash away the fact that the shipping probably costs more than the actual item. And those of you watching in the UK, I'm so sorry that that's your experience when you shop in the US, but it's just the reality. International shipping, when you can just like be okay with it, means that you are a bad bitch with a lot of money. And unfortunately, I'm just a bad bitch that would like more money, <laughs> like all of us. Okay, I was thinking two things when I put this dress on. First, it doesn't have pockets, but I'm okay with it because it's a rich lady dress and rich ladies have people to carry stuff for them. But we don't need a purse, we have people that will carry stuff for us. Second, <laughs> for some reason I'm putting this dress on and I cannot explain it, I don't know why, but it's very serious what was going through my head while I was putting this on. I kept just repeating, Arby's, <laughs> we've got the meats. And I don't know why this dress did that to me. I have never, ever thought about Arby's, we've got the meats, ever. <laughs> but for some reason, that's what came out of my mind when putting on this dress. Arby's, we've got the meats. <laughs> what I love about fall is excessive layers. I love that I can wear like eight shirts and it's acceptable because it's fall. It's the season of layers. So this look is a little bit excessively layered. And I think it's just because I like both shirts and I want to show you them. But also because it's fall and I can do what I want. So we're starting with a denim skirt. Look at this. Ooh, this is very in right now, this like long line denim skirt. So we have the denim girl. And with it, plain white t-shirt. Not super exciting. This is our base layer. Over that white t-shirt, we have this flannel, which I might tie. I'll probably like zhuzh up the sleeves. I don't know. We'll see how it works, but this is gonna go over the white shirt. And if all fares well, because I have not tried this on and I have no clue if this concept is gonna work, it might look like hot garbage, but you know what? We're all about playing and having fun here. I'm gonna put this. And then I'm thinking it's just this like lovely layer of different textures and different colors and fallness and so many layers. I'm like a layer goblin. I just want to be like a taco when I go out in the winter. I just want to have like 18 layers and you can see all of the goodness that I'm wearing. It's like, look at all my clothes. I'm wearing every single piece right now. Fashion taco. Let's make it a thing. Let's taco about this outfit. <laughs> so I, was, I was making the drum noise with my hands. This reminds me of someone who makes jam at a county fair, like very strong vibes because no one in Texas would wear this because honestly, it's too much clothing. I'm so hot right now and I love the vibe, but it's not for where I live. But it also does remind me of Diane Keaton in this movie called, I want to say Baby Boomer, but I'm not 100% certain, where she's like a New York businesswoman who moves to the country and makes baby food, which also it's kind of like jam. It's a vegetable or fruit puree. It's the kind, it's the same thing. Baby food is just like kind of a jam just with like grosser ingredients. So I guess that's how we got there. That's how I got to this is a woman who makes jam because of Diane Keaton. And don't say anything bad about Diane Keaton because she is a literal icon and a queen. And if you don't know who she is, do some Googling. Actually, I'll link you to her Wikipedia down below. You should know who Diane Keaton is. A legend, just literally a legend. Okay, I know I have given this reference before, but I'm gonna give it again. This is totally a dress that Angela would have worn in My So-Called Life, and that is why I got it. If you have not seen My So-Called Life, shame on you. It is a classic, it is a treasure, it is a treat. Check it out, I will link it down below. I don't know where the hell it's streaming, somewhere I'm sure, but basically it's about a teen in the 90s who just is misunderstood and she cuts her hair and it's played by Claire Danes. That's literally all I remember is that she cuts her hair and has a friend that has lots of braids and that there's Jordan Catalano, which is like Jared Leto and he's like super hot. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the whole series on this video. Just go watch it. But she would 100% wear this dress, maybe with like a chunky cardigan over it or like probably a layered taco, as we discussed earlier. She definitely was a fan of the fall taco in that show. And that might be where I'm getting the inspiration of excessive layering. It does have pockets, which I just felt when I did that swishity swoosh, which means this dress is elite. <laughs> it's better than a regular dress because it has pockets. 
and it's soft and flannel and fun and I love it and I'm gonna wear it. Okay, bye. This is one of those like family dresses, right? Like I have this dress and if I had a child, they would have the dress and my lover who I do not have would also have like a shirt in this plaid. And then we would like coddle together and take like a festive fall photo, probably also at the apple orchard. And then afterwards we would like drink cider and just like live our festive lives while getting lost in a corn maze where we actually end up fighting because we, it's long and it's tiring and the kids have been screaming and we just want to go home but we can't find them because they've run off and now they're in this freaking maze and we don't know where the hell we're going and all the joy and happiness we captured on camera like 30 minutes later is gone and it's just like devolved into pure chaos and we're just all screaming and all mad at a corn maze and all these people are staring at us and then when we get in the car i don't talk to my husband because he's pissed at me and he doesn't talk to me because he knows if he talks to me i'm gonna go off and then we go home and we go to bed and we wake up in the morning and it's fine wow i feel like that was therapy that was like therapy I want you all to take a moment because the last look in this haul is going to show us our inaugural winter coat. This is a special moment, guys. I just <laughs> thank you all for being here. But yes, it is the season to start thinking about keeping warm. And as we said, you can choose to taco layer, but there are other options, which is like a good ass coat. So let me show you pretty much the first coat I found that I love. I know I've got coats back here. You'll see them in the future, but this is the first one I'm talking to you about. So listen up. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with everything about her. She bears the sign of a good coat for me, which is faux fur. If you have faux fur on a coat, I'm going to buy it. You know why? Because that's who I am. I know what I like. I want to roll around on a bear rug naked. And that's basically what wearing a fur coat is like. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm saying something, I don't think about it until I finish saying it. And then I laugh because I'm just shocked at the sheer audacity of my own words. Yes, I myself don't know what the hell comes out of my mouth sometimes. But look at the shearling on the inside. Oh. Oh. Don't you want to be wrapped in that? Don't you want to just be like, eh? It's like a blanket. Oh. Okay, we'll try it on for realties with the outfit, which is also super adorable. Something that is also coming back that I am a super big fan of is this like pressed sewn in seam in denim. So look at these straight leg pants. I'll probably take the cuffs down because cuffs suck. I mean, I'm tall. I need all the extra denim length I can get. But look at this sewn in seam. It makes your jeans so classy. I just look so chic. And like, again, I have more money than I do. Thousand dare budget with millionaire style. <laughs> Obsessed. But. Yes, love a sewed down seam. Now we went very simple with the top, but also super chic. Look at this little sweater. Like this is the ultimate, like I, I don't care, but I do. I do care so much. I need your approval. Please like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I thought it was a good moment to just display my own insecurity, right? I want you to like this, but no, I, I personally like it. So if you like it, you can do those things. Now I'm backtracking. You know what? That's the Curse of being a people pleaser. I can't even ask people to support me because I just feel like I want to earn it, right? I don't want to make you do it. I want you to want to do it. And that is because I need to know that I'm doing a good job. Therapy and fashion here on Glitter and Lasers. Anyway, I think this is a super cute outfit. I think that it looks way more expensive than it is. While also being just a really practical outfit that you can like mix and match so many things with. So yeah, who would have thought this is Lane Bryant? What is happening over there? Who has shown up to this brand and said, I will bring you out of the ground. I will revive you and show you to the people because that is what it feels like is happening. Cause this used to be such a dud and I know I've talked about it before, but every single season it gets better. And I'm just like, Mwah! or maybe, and this is a real thought that I've had recently, and I know some of y'all are gonna go off in the comments when I say this, but am I just getting older? <laughs> and now I've moved into the, the brands I once thought were for older people. Actually, please don't discuss that in comments. I don't wanna cry today. This coat is banging. I'm obsessed with it. Oh, the shirt's okay. I'm not in love with it as much as I thought I would be. The jeans, 
I don't love the way they fit. They look good. Like, look at my butt. So great. But I wouldn't wear them for a whole day. The other jeans I like more. But the jacket, mm, that's how I feel about the jacket. That is everything that we are trying from Lane Bryant today. I hope you guys had fun. I always have fun trying on clothes and, you know, experimenting with things for you guys. And let me know what haul you want to see next. I am going to go out and I'm going to have a good day because that's, that's what we all need. We just need a good day. The weather is finally starting to cool down here. So Dana and I might go on a little hikey hike, which I love. So remember that links to everything are down in the description. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. We'll also be linking these amazing jackets just because I know I'm going to get a bunch of questions and I don't want to answer in every single comment. So we'll just do it once. You will see them later, hopefully, if they don't sell out because that is sometimes a problem. But if not, you will see them later. So if you want to wait until I actually like try them on and show them to you, that's cool too. And yeah, what I always end a haul with, you know, I'll check you later and I don't know what this is, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Peace.